Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome to another battle between myself and Northern Lion. We're doing the Tavern Brawl. Hello? Are you there? Yeah, something just, you cut out for like uh, 10 seconds there. Really? Yeah. That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, hey everybody, welcome to the Tavern Brawl. It's another game of me against Nor- and that didn't I, happen. I, I, that's what happened to me. <laughs> All right. Well, should, do you want to explain the tavern brawl? Since you already played it, which is against our rules. Well, no. <laughs> First, you know that's slander. We never talked about that. Uh, the tavern brawl this week is not getting a great reception. I'll just say that right off the bat. So the pressure's on for us to really bring the entertainment value. So it's called the Battle for Gadget Zan, and basically the. The new expansion theme was that there's three different factions, each consisting of three different classes. This gives you a pre-made deck with the theme of one of those factions, basically. So you're going to be playing as the Cabal, which is like a magic-themed class. Well, you're playing as the Priest, but you're, you're playing as the magic-themed gang, and I'm playing as like the Jade Idol-themed gang. Um, so is that is that like the Capulets and Montagues? It's 100% exactly like the Capulets and Montagues, yeah. Are you impressed that I, I knew those liter literary not, families? Not really, because, uh, you know, <laughs> Romeo and Juliet might be the most famous play of all time, and you were a teacher, so, <laughs> you know. But as a biology teacher. Oh, well, now we've got some... What did you teach, some, Ryan? English? Uh, I, well, yeah, yeah. All you teach is ESL. In, uh, as, a, as a native English speaker in Korea, you're only teaching English. Mm. They don't what trust you, you with anything else. What made you make the jump? Basically, like, I didn't know what to do after the university, so, uh, it seems sensible to me to do that instead. Um, Dan, does your pre-made deck have the money card in it? The money card? Yeah. Like, our money card or the money card? What do you- well, our money card, which, as far as I'm concerned, is also the <laughs> money card. Um, I- I do not have it. Uh, are you telling me that out of all the bars in the world, the loot hoarder walked into your deck? Uh, well, I'm saying wait and see. That's all I'm saying. What is this tomfoolery card back that you have? We both have it, huh? Oh, yeah, this must be the Tavern Brawl card back. Are you a big card back guy? I don't really care, but I do... Oh, good. wow, Mana Geode, huh? Well, I do, uh, try to get to level 20 or whatever it is, so that or level 15, so I can get the card back every season, but... It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal, you know? I think I place more onus into it than you do. I like having the, all the stuff to choose from. That just doesn't tickle your fancy? Not at all, no. What tickles <laughs> your fancy in this game? What tickles my fancy is this right here. I don't, it's the wrong play, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's like so the wrong play. I just see it hovering. I'm just waiting for it. Ooh, okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Wait, did you saw the picture of the guy, right? Yes, yes I did. Have you done any further investigating into his uh, daily happenings? No, I, uh, you know, I think he should be entitled to live his life, basically. <laughs> what does us looking into his, his personal life have to do with us hindering him from living his well, life? Well, I just worry that, you know, we have, we have a dedicated fan base, but sometimes, like, other people don't understand memes the same way we do, right? By the way, sometimes these guys come in and they give us some trash talk. Which is pretty sweet. You're seeing this right now, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just making sure. There's <laughs> another reason um, this is maybe not the best tavern brawl of all time, but... Uh, oh. I like the last one, Double Death. Rate. Yeah, the last one was really cool. All I'm getting at, by the way, I mean, I would love to have a conversation, but this deck is just full of dreams, man. Are you telling me you pulled double loot hoarder? <laughs> what? <laughs> put another two in the side pot. <laughs> that, that's unheard of. That's <laughs> I don't even put two loot hoarders in my own decks. That's the dream draw. Man, I got to catch up for that. All right, what do we got here? Though? I don't even have here. I just mm. worry that like that that poor dude who voiced loot hoarder is getting like all these tweets now that are like, <laughs> you know, mind if I roll need. And he's like, I don't know what the hell these people are talking about. Do you think he doesn't know, though? I think there's I mean, a yes, chance he doesn't know. But, I mean, no, like, if people start tweeting a mind if I roll, you're gonna be like, oh, I wonder what that was from. I, there's a chance, I think, that he could be like that. Do you think he's that big of a VO actor? It's like, oh. Well, I just mean, like, you know, he, he did mind if I roll need. This card has been in the game for, like, 80 years. 
and he's gonna. You might not know, man. You might not know. That's true. That's true. But uh, or he might be pissed. He might be like, I hate that game. Do you think he plays it? Probably not. No. What do you? If you were to voice a, a card, yeah. and you had to play it, and it became like a meme, would you be humbled by that, or would you try to avoid it? Um, I would probably. I mean, you you know me. I'd probably be humbled by it. But would you still laugh at it? If it was mine, if I roll need, I would still laugh at it. Okay, let, let me present this scenario to you. So say Blizzard knocked on your apartment and said, we want you to re-voice over loot. I would... Would you do it? I mean, you cut out a little bit there, but I think you said if Blizzard knocked on my door and asked if I wanted to voice Loot Hoarder, would I do it? The answer to that question yes. is a resounding yes. But don't tell Jason Miller... <laughs> That I'm gunning for his job, okay? Would you put your own twist on it, or would you do an impersonation of the line as it stands? I, maybe I'd try to be a little bit more casual about it, you know? Because Loot Hoarder is super excited. He's like, mind if I roll need? But you know he's <laughs> going to do it either way. I'd be more like, hey, I'm rolling need. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> so you would do like the Gadgetan, uh, how Gadget stand? <laughs> yes. G gadget... Gadgetzan or Gadgetzen, but I don't know. You're the World of Warcraft guy, sort of. Out of the I'm two, of, the out of the two of us, you're the World of Warcraft guy. I did play it. I played it until Burning Crusade, but I wouldn't call myself a Warcraft guy. When was I'd say I got I got off the train before it was steaming past the Vancouver <laughs> exit. <laughs> was Burning Crusade was like 2009 or something? What's no? I thought it was before then. Oh, For me, it was. I was playing it when I was a teacher. Get I was like, geez, I hope none of my students are going to be on the same <laughs> shard as me. <laughs> oh, get ready, Dan. The, the Jade Empire is uh, descending upon you. I haven't got the Jade meta. I've just avoided it because I don't understand. Basically, it's like the more Jade idols you summon, every time you summon one, the next one gets plus one, plus one. Oh, that doesn't say that anywhere in the, the card description. Uh, does it not? No, it doesn't. Well, you know, that's you gotta you gotta start reading our Hearthstone, man. Wait, when you hover over it, it tells you, but it's not written in the description where the bronze knuckles are. <laughs> what? <laughs> Look at the bronze knuckles, okay. brass knuckles. Yeah. You don't know what I'm saying. I, I think I sort of know what you're saying. Is that a weird little lotus thing in the top left? No, it's in. So look at your jade golem. Yeah. And then look where it would tell you like fire skull. Yeah. Okay. And like. MTG, doesn't that look like a brass knuckle? That's gotta be a brass. <laughs> Where Where was a brass it knuckle? Fire skull. <laughs> the the, the <laughs> mana cost in the top right? No, fire skull and MTG. That's where like the, the watermark is on MTG cards. Oh yes, okay, now I see it. It was so <laughs> invisible to me until you said that. Oh, that's pretty good. I'll look out for you, fam. Alright, there we go. Yeah, that was pretty good. Hey, thanks, thanks. I gotta get a win here. I'm on a, on the schneid. <laughs> Is that a real phrase? <laughs> the schneid? Yeah, I think it's a baseball term. Lotus agents. Uh, what do you? What are your thoughts on the the three baggers right here? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what? Um, the three bagger. Yeah, I'm. Uh... Wait, I don't know what that means. <laughs> so the card, the card that you played that uh, translates over three different bags. I still don't know what <laughs> Like the three class cards. Yeah, okay. I like them, actually, but I, uh, I'm i not really familiar with this class. I'm more familiar with the the Paladin Warrior um, Hunter one. Because that's the one that I played, like, basically two times in a row last time against you. And what crime family is that? The Corleones? That's the Grimy Goons. Who... Oh, I chose the wrong one! I guess would be the, uh, would be the Corleones. Sure, why not? Right. Have you played like how many how many Mean Streets packs have you opened? Uh, not very many. I think uh, I bought twenty. Okay, yeah, it's a, it's a start. It is a start. But how about all my cards say if you have a dragon and you? But they they didn't give me the Harry Potter. Well, this like what people are mad about is like well not mad but perturbed about is. That all these cards or all these decks like already exist in the meta right now, but they're like these are bad versions of those decks. So they basically gave you like a mid-tier ladder deck instead of a cool tavern brawl like 
you know, hey, double death rattle. I thought we'd get like double battle cry or something because it just seemed obvious. Like something just a little goofy. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. I got you. I mean, you I really you, do I have. <laughs> Those cards are not as good if they're. Uh... If you don't, you don't have, have dragon. dragons in your hand, yeah. <laughs> I was like, man, it's this good. guy's really misplaying. But it turns <laughs> out... Well, thanks uh, thanks for predetermining what the comments are going to well, be. Well, right? you know, now that you've got... Uh, <laughs> uh, now that you're you're throwing these cards out here, I see you, you never had a choice. Hey, so I didn't get a chance to talk to you very much, so we played just some casual games. Ooh... Nice play. Oh, we you. played some casual games of H1Z1. Yeah. And to my understanding, that was your first experience of it. Is that correct? That's correct, yes. What was your impression of the game? I really liked it. What did you like about it? Well, okay, teach. Uh, what I like about it is, like, I like the culling. I, I just, I'm still not over that archetype of, like, you spawn into a game and it's going to, like, resolve within an hour and it's got, like, you know, 20 or in H1Z1's case, 150 people. Uh, I still like, I think it gives like a cool little bit of tension to it, but unlike the culling, it has a really active player base, and uh, you don't spend nearly as much time doing dumb stuff like just punching trees and then like rubbing sticks together. Like in the culling, you seriously just like, I mean it felt to me like you spend all your time looting and crafting. Whereas the H1Z1... Yeah. Kate and I played some more and I was like, okay, I get the crafting now. Like you, you want to make armor and you want to like... You know, make explosive arrows and stuff like that. Um, but there's a lot more like actual gameplay, I thought, than than in the culling. Although there's a lot more waiting around as well. But it, I'm still at the point where that waiting around feels tense. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, before I I give you my two cents, I think this is the closest card to Yeezy we're gonna see. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? It's, I don't. Do you have this card in your deck? Uh, not, a, not in your deck in your collection. I, I don't actually, but it is played. Uh, it is played and constructed, so you you never know, man. Hyperlight dreams. Yeah, I mean, to me, like that's why I like H one Z one is. It's tense and like every time when you play, you feel like you're playing for something. Yeah. You know what I mean? No. And I it, that you. doesn't. It hasn't lost that that heightened sense of standing over your enemy thrill to kill and i've played it for <laughs> like two years <laughs> for two years yes i've been Man. so h1z1 came out as like a survival game and they did like a br mod or br spinoff yeah and then the the spinoff took off so they kind of dumped the normal game yeah i mean that makes sense Ooh, what is this choose one card have both combined effects what did that do Oh, so like you know, there's cards like the 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 last card I played was called Jade Idol. So it says choose one, summon a four four Jade Golem, or shuffle three copies of this card into your deck. Uh -huh. So instead of choosing one, it just does both when you've got this uh, Fandral Stag Helm out there. <laughs> Fandral Stag Helm. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna. This is probably eh, it's a misplay, but I'll roll with it. Ooh, ooh, come to Poppy. Yeah, that's gonna like it's gonna do nothing in your deck, but it certainly annoys me, which is that's like a big goal. part of it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I like that this is a dream. It was all a dream. Read Word Up magazine. Speaking of that, yeah, I watched part of. I I get the highlights from a lot of your episodes. I watch some of your stuff, but I get the highlights from your episodes from the Reddit. Oh, the Reddit. No. I know exactly what you're gonna bring up. And I think in one of your UCHs, you're like someone's like. Freestyle for us? And you're like, sure, no problem. And then you did Ice Cube, it was a good day, and they believed you. That's then correct, you came yes. came off the top of the dome. Did that surprise you at all that they believed you? I thought they were fucking with me at first when they were like, you know, wow, did you come up with that off the top of the dome piece? Um, but then, you know, I realized that apparently, despite listening exclusively to rap music, Rob knows nothing about it. So, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I mean, Austin I understand, Nick I understand. Austin well, strikes my... me as the kind of guy whose who's favorite rap song is like, Ice Ice Baby. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean that in a, in a negative way. I don't mean that in a negative way. And Nick's favorite rap song is like, the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time soundtrack mashed up with like, 99 Problems by Jay-Z. But Robert, Robert surprised me. I really expected, he's like, I don't really like... East or West Coast rap. I'm like, yeah, but it's today was a good day. 
That's like listening to West Coast rap and being like, I've never heard of Big Papa. Who's Big this Pop? Jay Z guy? Oh, oh my god. That was a bit of a misplay, but I'll, I'll still take it to the bank. Oh, so yeah, I, I was a little surprised because that's like a pretty famous rap song. It, I would argue that it's probably one of like the 20 most famous rap songs. <laughs> Wait, you said Austin's like Ice Ice Baby. <laughs> what do, all right, so Austin, I kind of get to like dad rock. What does Nick listen to? Uh, like, the killers? like the killers? No, Nick <laughs> is into like uh, technical, like... Not metal, but like the hard rock subgenres, like like gent and uh, you know. Do you, are you familiar? I don't know. I'm talking about the wrong tree. Are you familiar with like the liquid tension experiment? <laughs> or is this real stuff? This is real stuff. No. What is? Wait. First off, <laughs> what is gent? Gent is well. Nick introduced me to the concept of gent, so I'm not going to use it against him. But it's uh. Are you actually holding a dragon this time? No. <laughs> Dude, that is a dragon, though. Oh, I probably should have held on to that. Huh? <laughs> a gent is named after the sound that the instruments in gent make. So, you know, they're going like, gent, 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 gent. Like that. And what instrument is used? A I don't know. I, the side to, of be, a road? to be honest with you, I don't really know. Did you give it a few tracks, or did you listen to like thirty seconds and be like, eh, "I'm not a gent guy." I've never listened to gent. Oh, you never even gave Nick the time of I, day to listen to gent. That's that's my thing. I don't give anybody the time of day because my, my my opinion is just like people give you like recommendations all the time, but like I'm set, man. I'm good. <laughs> I've I've got all the music and and TV shows and movies I'll ever need. I've very rarely in the past like. Three or four years have I been like, hey, I'd really like to, you know, does anyone know a good movie? I'm like, yeah, everybody knows all the good movies. There's like a million great movies I could just watch. I don't. If someone comes to me and is like, oh, you got to watch this. I'm like, yeah, whatever, I'll get to it. Thanks for giving me something to do. <laughs> all right, so then let me flip it on you then. If Since you've got all the answers, big boy, what, uh, <laughs> what, uh. What would you rec? What's in your playlist? That's just uh, that's, you just gotta recommend it to someone. Oh, you gotta listen to Lucini, like only Lucini. <laughs> that's it. That's how I knew you're you're all right. You know, it was questionable until I heard you play that song. Real quick story, just to give everyone a recap. So we met uh, briefly at at PAX through the Mathis shenanigans. It's been documented. But then, we, what was it? PAX West, like two or three years ago? Yeah, that was uh, that was 2014, I think. Wow, time flies. So Pax West 2014, I stayed with Mathis, Ryan, and Kate. And I didn't, you know, I knew Mathis. I didn't know Ryan and Kate that well. And uh, it was the first night, and Ryan is sitting there, and he opens up a laptop and just starts playing Lucini. And you got to remember, this is an obscure rap song from the mid-90s, and I hadn't heard it in 10 years. And for you to just kind of pull that out, I didn't know if you are like, testing me. <laughs> was, it's was not was always safe. about you, Dan. <laughs> But uh, that's what I do. I'm like, all right, Ryan's all right. He's, he's not just a <laughs> mythical creature. But um, but anyway, so where I was going with that is so you gave me the second song. Wait, I thought I was holding a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> the, you played the dragon. <laughs> Wait, so you Skyped me uh, another Lucini song. Yeah. And our Camp Low song. Correct. And it's garbage. You weren't that into it, huh? <laughs> no. No, that I'm, I'm, that album's got like here. five bangers on it. Lucini, Cooley High, Black Nostalgia, Jack, Crystal Carrington, Sparkle. You're only into Lucini? What about Cooley High? Come on. Nah, I mean, because the rest of it is K music. Right, yeah, I'm with you. What do we got here, fam? Can you kill me? Yes, you can. Yeah, this. You gotta, you gotta hold those <laughs> dragons, man. I don't have the patience. Well, well, for next game, we'll probably have different uh, different ones anyway. I don't know. I mean, I'll probably just, like, do that. Yeah, just <laughs> yeah, <okay>. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have anything clever in my hand either, so it is what it is. Um, well, did, you get, did you get thanks for playing, Kazzy? Uh, yeah, well, that's because I was Aya Blackpaw, the leader of the Jade Lotus. I didn't know you were that deep no, into the I lore. am Blackfaw, the leader of the day. <laughs> well, like, apparently these are all characters from Warcraft. So, 
I actually have no idea who any of these people are, but... And I use the word people pretty loosely, <laughs> to be honest with you. Hey, you know what takes the sting off of losing a tavern brawl like that? What? Ooh, a little, uh, Lime LaCroix? Uh, close, this is a new flavor. It's a it's new flavor. Passion fruit. No. Coconut. It's a, it's a blend of two artisan oh, fruits. Oh, peach pear. Close. <laughs> I don't know. Freaking, uh, lemon lime. No. It's kiwi, Ooh. and then the second word is sandia. Kiwi sandia? <laughs> what does that mean? It's sand flavored kiwi. I don't think it's sand flavored kiwi. <laughs> but it says sandia on it. Is are you looking at the French? Wait, you don't have a French side in America. No, we don't bend the knee in America. <laughs> <laughs> it's sandia must be a different language for watermelon. Oh well, that's like I don't. It, what's weird for me is that in the U.S. you call the grapefruit flavor pomplamoose. And like no one does that. Yeah, you. I, I hear you people go oh, pomplamoose, you people. But um, that is the most erroneous thing I've ever heard you say, and you don't say. Ver no, that's bullshit, Dan. I've, I've <laughs> seen it. I've I've seen them say pomplamoose. But who's they? Well, on Good Mythical Morning, they did a Lacroix taste test. It's a YouTube show, and they uh, they tasted pomplamoose, and the American can say pomplamoose, not grapefruit. I think. Well, you know what I have to say about that? Oh, don't do it, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> and one to the pot, boys. <laughs> Wait, so you're telling me the loot order's in that deck, too? Because that's not even the same one that I played last time. That's how you, I'm really excited. Should you we tell it, people what we, uh, the deck that we're going to play relatively soon? Yeah, I mean, we're gonna play? I think we should we should pull the curtain back. Because we, we're going to need deck archetypes at some point. <laughs> Like for now, we've got we've got a few good ideas in the pipeline, but we should solicit some from the crowd as well. But yeah, feel free. So I know we briefly we were just kind of like throwing it around, but we are gonna do a deck on a Tuesday. When do we? When does this one air? This one airs Thursday. This one's gonna air Thursday, yeah. So either on a Tuesday or Saturday, we're gonna do. A, you can only strike with a loot hoarder. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's it, right? Well, we got Popper coming up. We got Popper you coming up. You told up. me to build a Popper deck, so I'm going to be pretty disappointed if I can only strike with my loot hoarder. <laughs> we'll gonna... tell people what a Popper deck is. A Popper deck is a theme borrowed from Magic the Gathering, so you can only use basic cards or common cards. No rares, no epics, no legendaries. Legends. Uh... <sighs> then you, you pulled another MTG. What did you call it, oh, Commander? No, well, if we could play Commander, that'd be pretty wild, but... Uh, 99? <laughs> Highlander. Highlander is, uh, you can only have one of any given card in your deck. I think you've been talking to the Kibbler. I, well, I did talk to him a little bit at, you know, Champions of Fire, because we both went out like little bitches in the first two rounds, but... Was he a good Kibmeister? I, I mean, he's the best Kibmeister I've ever met. <laughs> You know when the, people started spamming Kibler in chat? You know what I? What? And this may may not have been on. Uh, what's your What's your major broadcast channel? CDN or something? C in, in Canada, it's CBC. CBC. It might not have aired on CBC, but I was thinking of Full House. Kimmy Gibbler. Kimmy Gibbler. Yeah. No, I'm familiar with uh, I'm familiar with the concept of Full House. Spe <laughs> Speaking of '90s um, sitcoms. Yes. And I don't mean to make light of the situation, but one of my favorite sitcoms growing up as a kid was Growing Pains. Oh, yeah. You so, you know, the dad recently just passed. Alan Thicke, he's a Canadian yeah. idol. Yeah, I mean, and legend. Well, I mean, he's not but, a Canadian uh, idol, because we have our own show, Canadian Idol. That's like <laughs> American Idol, but he's a Canadian legend, exactly. It's like it's like American Idol, but just not as good. But um, Honestly, so, that's actually true. So... One of the things I was thinking about today at the gym, because I was thinking of Alan Thicke, I'm like, in the 90s, in Growing Pains, do you know what Mike Seaver's best friend's name was? Kimmy Gibbler? No. Boner. Oh, yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> and I'm thinking, like, for the conservative times in the mid-90s on NBC or ABC, how could they get away with calling a character by the name of Boner? You're right, that is, it's a surprise, that's for sure. I mean, do you think that's like kind of some of these cards that we play just kind of slid past the? 
Oh, dude, the producers? There's loot hoarders. There's a way to get to loot hoarders. <laughs> I didn't think it would be possible, but there it is. How? I want you to know, I have a zero mana card that could be pretty good, and I have a legendary, and then I have loot hoarder. I, of all the choices to have to make in this game, there you go. I mean, that's like, that shouldn't be that tough of a decision. It's like choosing between a Ford Fiesta, a Ford Fo Range Rover. Well, <laughs> <They're taking you. laughs> what would you take, Dan? Loot order. Okay, that's what I took. You have to. Wait, Dan, you make fun of my Ford Focus, which is actually a Fiesta all the time. What? Wait, you have a Fiesta? Wait, you make fun of my Ford Fiesta, which is actually a Focus all the time. The truth comes out, <laughs> finally! <laughs> what is, uh... What is your vehicle of choice? What do you drive? Wait, Damn. so do you really have a Fiesta? No, I have a Focus. There's, there's nothing wrong with the Fiesta. It's I'm aware car. of that. It's a nice, reliable automobile. Uh, I drive a Ford Escape. Ooh, the boxy okay. Version. Yeah, I my my mom had an Explorer for a while, so I'm with you. The Explorer is like the the even more adult minivan -y version of the the escape the escape is like you could use this to go off-road and like drive up to the ski hill or something but you probably won't you're just gonna use it for getting to soccer practice <laughs> am i wrong i don't think i'm wrong see i look at it as like the escape is the the rugged outdoorsman where there's no chance of going to soccer practice where the explorer is like hey uh ryan get in the back and we're gonna go to chess class <laughs> Well, you know what? The concept of chess class is not outrageous. Okay. I'm 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 alright with you on that one. Look at that. <laughs> We're even now. I feel like if we look back at some of our games, whenever a loot hoarder is played, I feel like that turns the tide. You think so? Case in case in point right there. <laughs> you feel like that's the the loot hoarder is what's making all the difference? Yeah. Well that's a questionable decision there. Nah, nah dog. This is a legendary card. Dan, you're gonna get ready, man. Oh, that's actually a great card. But Yeah, I'm like, I kept reading this. I'm like, Divine Shield, Taunt, Death Rattle. Ooh. Get ready, because this game's about to pop off, man. How much popping is gonna There's happen? gonna be a lot of popping, and it's gotta be real fast, too. Although, I'm a little nervous. I think you could just... It's up to you. It's up to you how you want to handle this. Because, uh... You know, you could be a good dude. Or you could be a jerk. It's up to you. Let me see, though. Let me see. Ooh, I don't I'm know. I'm starting to question what you're about to do. It's like the wrong play, but I kind of want to do it anyway. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> now, now's the time to do it. This isn't the Net Dex 101. I know, you but like, I, you could just kill it right away. That's no good. What's what's the goodness in that? I think you, you got to slow it down a little bit. What if, what if I gave you uh, Loot Hoarder's Honor that I wouldn't... You're going to give me Loot Hoarder's Honor? Yeah, and you can't break Loot Hoarder's no, Honor. That's the highest of honors. It's above Eagle Scout. No, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> yeah. Throw out something like that. I don't know. Maybe do like that. Chill Moth. Who do you think named that card? You have a problem with Chill Moth? Yes. <laughs> it's it's like they're, tr they're, they're trying to be edgy. Yeah, it's probably like Mr. Blizzard <laughs> named Chill Moth. Ooh. That, Couple options. That's what I say when my mama cooks a breakfast with no hog. I got my chill, ma. <laughs> See, didn't pick out. <laughs> even Dan's familiar with uh, today was a good day. Death rattle. If you're holding a dragon, deal three damage to all minions. Well, Ryan, are you holding a well, dragon? Uh, you know, I've only got 90 cards in my hand. What do you think? <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I'm holding six dragons right now. <laughs> Okay. So it's really up to you and what you want to do with this one. Uh, I really don't have much option, do I? <laughs> Actually, so if I know that's going to happen. You play a loot hoarder. Get, no, a, get a card that, draw that, off of it. <laughs> the, the loot hoarder doesn't stay in my hand very often. Instant play. <laughs> um, I don't know what to do here. So I'm going to play the, the slow game here. I think that was the right play. Except that that dude's just gonna. Oh, I see. I see. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Okay. Oh wait, that wasn't the right. Because this this uh, silver hand recruit's just gonna get nuked. Yeah. Well, that and my Ashbringer is gonna override. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Whoops. 
<laughs> well, I don't know. I want to like do something with this draconid operative before it gets murdered. So I guess we'll try like. Uh... If you're holding a dragon, I don't get it. Ooh, there we go, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how come you didn't get chilled? You did. I did, but I, I healed him just before. Ooh. Well, let's start throwing some of these dragons out here. So you had the deck, a similar deck to what I had, except you had... Well, it's, it's the go. same deck. It just Literally? has, like... I, I believe so. It's just got, like, a lot of... I drew the dragons, I guess. Alright, boys. Ooh. Ooh. Starting to heat up here, boys. <sighs> what do I do here? That's a that's a big taunt. It's, it's a big big boy, big boy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go here. Okay, yeah. I mean those are pretty nasty cards, man. Sick nasty. Speaking of sick nasty, okay, no, I'm yeah. not gonna go there. Whoa, okay. Uh, you're gonna bang him, bang that. Pardon me. Uh, I'm going top shelf with it. What's your, why do you like Steven Stamkos? <clears throat> He's a great player. Do you have a problem? Well, why him? Why not Pavel Bure? Well, Pavel Bure is a great <laughs> player too. He's just been retired for 90 years. <laughs> what about Eric Lindros? He's also, he just got inducted into the Hall of Fame, man. He did? Yeah. What happened to the Flyers? They used to be relevant. They're all right. What's your problem? This guy's he's throwing shade at everybody. <laughs> well, I just remember liking him and Leclerc. Eric, what's his name? Yeah, Eric Leclerc? Jean, John Leclerc. <laughs> Not Jean Leclerc, but yeah, you got it. John Leclerc. Would you go any, to any Canucks games? Uh, I do. They suck, and the tickets are too expensive right now. But uh, isn't, isn't that the case in Toronto too? Like they're awful, but their tickets increase every year. Yeah, Toronto's like crazy in terms of the the cost to go to a game. I so I think you got me here, Dan. When you roll up to a Canucks game, yeah, like you make an event of it. I mean, what does that mean? Like, do you roll up in your? Uh, Stamkos jersey, get a box of popcorn. Well, you know, I usually... $12 beers. Yeah, we'll, we'll go, we'll... Usually I try not to drink at the games because it is like $12 beers, but... I, uh, I wear a jersey, yeah, of course. You know, you gotta, you gotta show some hometown pride. I mean, it's not really, like, what's the point of paying 90 bucks for a ticket to see the third worst team in the NHL if you don't also pay, like, 200 bucks for a jersey to <laughs> really make the day complete? <laughs> Do you drink Molson while you're there? Uh... I usually I'll have a Goose Island. A Goose Island is that Canadian beer? It's not. It's a Chicago beer, but for some we go reason, one more because rubber match. Yeah, right? exactly. Okay. It's marketed in in Canada as a craft beer, and people are always like, "Oh, it must be from Victoria." Nah, that shit's from Chicago, man. Is there a Goose Island in Illinois? <laughs> you know, I should be asking you, man. You border uh, it, right? <laughs> you're the uh, geographical e expert. I gotta like offer up a, a fat apology for that last game as well, not to you, but to the viewers, because I had the dream in my hand, which was, uh, if you play this card, players only have 15 seconds to make their turns, and then I didn't play it because there was no, there was never a time where it fit on the board. Is it 15 seconds the rest of the way? I think if it dies, you get your normal time again. That's really cool. I'd like to play a game like that. It's the problem is like it's a nine mana card for a joke, so you've really got. I think you can only play it when you're like already ahead, but I mean it was it was okay. Wait, so I have a question: Is Molson in your country like Budweiser in our country? Well, it depends. What's Budweiser like in your country? It's like a, hey, it's the all American beer. I'm not saying I drink it, but is it like as readily available as Budweiser in the states? It's everywhere. Let me put it this way: Canadian Molson Canadian is the beer that. Like, if someone orders it, I'm like, you must not be from around here, buddy. Why? Because it's like, no no Canadian really drinks it. It's, it's not really that popular for Canadians, but... You know. I remember in the 90s, like, my, uh, not a lot of people in my family drink, but I remember, like, in the mid-90s, 
there was like this big push and my dad came home and he's not doesn't really drink a lot of beer or anything like that like i may have seen him drink one in my life yeah but he came home yeah. with this six pack of like oh this is molson ice it's supposed to be the molson best ice is <laughs> pretty bad as well well it was like a big thing in the the mid 90s it was hey i i don't care what's happened up until this series yeah I just want you to remember this moment. <laughs> oh no, two loot orders? <laughs> Let's go, boys. The dream. Arrogant girl. Arrogant girl. <laughs> you dare mock the most powerful leader in Gadget's end? Kazakis has no respect for the loot hoarder, man. He doesn't give a shit. Is the loot on fire? Yeah, I don't know. Are they golden loot hoarders? What's, what's going on there? Do you have golden loot hoarders in your deck? I don't. Oh, you're getting that. You're stealing that uh, Mox Ruby. That crystal card art might be the worst art in this whole game. And that's uh, <laughs> really saying something for a game that has Alley Cat. <laughs> With the golden teeth. <laughs> Let's do this. It's almost sacrilege to sack down your. No, loot dude, once the, the loot hoarder has two purposes. Mind if I roll need and then drawing a card? Anything else you get out of it is just gravy. Um, are you a big uh, poutine guy? I I do enjoy a poutine. Yeah. Do, don't the cheese curds gross you out? Not at all. You is that? I didn't know that this attitude existed until just now. What? Getting grossed out by the cheese curds? Yeah, because number one, they could just call them cheese chunks or blocks of cheese. <laughs> but the fact that they go to curds and then you see them and they're actual curds. Yeah. It's kind of disgusting. Well, I mean, I don't come to your house and say, hey, well, I don't know, what do you even eat in Michigan? VCRs? <laughs> <laughs> what, what's a Michigan staple? Yo, curds are fine, dude. It's just like squeaky cheese. <laughs> curds are like what you, you skim off the top of the milk and feed to the hogs out back. Make hot dogs out of them. Um, actually, a, a thing in Michigan I didn't know was a Michigan thing is... Uh, Ooh, I'm gonna see if the your statement works. You're starting to pop yeah. off here a little. A little bit, a little bit. Um, what was I gonna say? How are you gonna oh, get rid of these man. There's things called uh, coney dogs. Oh right? yeah, no, I've, we have coney dogs. Okay, we we only had them in like Ontario, but it borders Michigan. Oh, there you go. Like, do you guys have coney sauce as well? Yeah, it's I had just like no. Hey, it's talk like, to other people. Go ask Rob about coney sauce. He'll look at you like you're out of your mind. He'll be like, "This, I have no idea what you're talking about. What is coney sauce?" Doesn't Rob make home pressed nuggets? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I, that's that's slanderous, man. <laughs> no, you told me one time we were talking. Oh, like, I never told you one time. <laughs> no, Rob no, makes that. home pressed nuggets. <laughs> Me that you're like, hey, uh, we should go out and, and buy nuggets. And Rob's like, well, I can make my own for 12 cents less. <laughs> you told me that. I mean, that seems possible. <laughs> no, that that sounds more like a Sinvicta line, honestly. Hey, is uh, is it true that there's it inside of a nugget is pink paste? Yeah. No, is that true? Yeah, yeah. Well, tell me more about it, cause I know you know more about it than I do. <laughs> <laughs> what are you a cop or something? <laughs> No, I'm serious. Because we've all seen the photo. It looks like strawberry soft serve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's real. I don't know more about it. It's just like, you know, you put a chicken through that and you make it into a paste so that it's easy to mold and fry. But but what is that actually? I don't know. It's just processed chicken paste and like flour or something. Where shall I Partially hydrogenated vegetable oils. How can you partially hydrogenate it? What is Dan, you can't stop the rise of the mana geodes, man. I know, I got I got nothing. The value is out of control right now. You snuffed my Mox Rubies when I tried to play. I had to I had to waste the card to do it though, so you know. This guy looks like your guy in the far left looks like he's from uh the movie that uh David Bowie made. The guy in the Labyrinth. Oh, yeah, the Labyrinth. That's not the Labyrinth, Dan. It's just <laughs> Dance <lab> Magic Dance. <laughs> Just lab. Hey, are you gonna see Rogue One? Probably, yeah. Day one or day two? Nah, probably like day 200. Really? Yeah. 
I mean, I already I know. You, you already know how it goes, right? How does it go? Well, they, they deliver the plots for the Death Star to Princess Leia. Ruined. Is that like, <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna show up and be like, actually, you know, Darth Vader just slaughters them all, and the plans <laughs> never get out. You don't strike me as a Star Wars guy. I guess I should have known. I like Star Wars. But? No, that's, I mean, I like Star Wars. I just don't go see it, like, like day one most of the time. You don't seem like the kind of guy to see anything day one. Uh, I saw Doctor Strange on day one. Ew. Ew, what's your problem? You won't go see Rogue One day one, but you'll see, like, a one-off Marvel's... Yo, Doctor Strange is pretty good, man. What's his superpower? He's a weird man. <laughs> no, he, he's got like, you know, he's a devout Buddhist, so he knows how to like bend time and, uh, you know, open wormholes into other places on planet Earth and beyond. So it's Back to the Future? Yeah, no, you got it. <laughs> it's exactly Back to the Future. <laughs> oh, did you see there? Oh, did you see uh, Nike's releasing shoes? Hey, what the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> you see Nike's releasing shoes with automatic laces? Like Back uh, to the Yeah, shoes. I mean, I've been reading that article for like 20 years. <laughs> no, they're real. I'll believe it when they're out and they're Yeezys. I don't, you don't get ahead of yourself. I don't know what a Yeezy is. It's a, it's just a shoe that Kanye West made, right? Yeah, the Yeezys. He, well, so what started was he designed a shoe for Nike, right? Yeah. And then they blew up. Right. So he designed another one. Okay. And then another one. And then he's like, hey, I'm making fire. Give me some more creative control. <laughs> right. And they're like, no, you get no creative control. Oh. And he's like, give me 50 million or I'm going to quit. <laughs> he did he actually? <laughs> That's what he says in one of his songs. That's a lot of money. Oh, what do we want to do here? Ooh, are you going to bang me on the next one? Dan, Let's I go got to know how it feels to just get bodied nonstop by the most high-value <laughs> mana geode of all time. Well, here's the thing I'm struggling with, is you said when I played it was a garbage card, but you're you're soaking it for all of oh, <laughs> You're supposed to kill it, that's the thing. I got nothing in the tank to kill it. <laughs> it's just like it's lived for so long. <laughs> And it, it continues, <laughs> it continues to just get out of control, man. It's like the, this is the best two drop of all time. It is what, uh, what's the step down from legendary? It's, uh, yeah. epic. Epic, it is an epic. It is an epic, I mean, I cracked like eight of these in the packs that I opened for Gadget Zan, so. I mean, it's it's a trash card, but I think there might be like a deck in which you can be a super gimmick. Maybe this is it. <laughs> yeah, I think I think we're learning that right now. It's also like the longest episode we've ever done <laughs> by far. Blame the red cloud with two eyes. Ooh, I don't think I can. You are sitting on a, a full deck. I got I got a lot of cards in my hand, but every Jade Golem you summon now is like you know ten by ten by ten or something. I'm kind of now that I understand what Jade Gal, I'm kind of down with. Wait, it. you're a Golem guy? So it's called a Golem. What do you call it's it? It's Golem. No, it's not. It's a Jade Golem. That's Smeagol. Yeah, Golem, Golem. It's the same thing. It's all the same. Hey. When you were in Vegas, did you play any uh, adult games? Yes, I did. Well, I mean, I didn't play any games that are based on pornography, if that's what you're asking, but I, I did play a little roulette. Oh. Ooh, they're coming back stronger than ever, boys. <laughs> it's possible. I I okay, so I gotta rule the roost here to kill him, but... Sometimes, all good things must come to an end here. You're killing the mana geode! <laughs> yeah. it's, it's so high value, man! I can't tell if you're being condescending it's, or not. It really has been a high value. <laughs> it's been a high spawn value still lives on. Why does that have a brass knuckle on it? Because it's part of the grimy goons. Wow, that, that was a grimy maneuver right there. Oh, thank you. Maybe it wasn't a compliment, I don't know. Hey, look at your hero. Yeah. What do you think that's at the very top of the hero? His hair? <laughs> No, at the very, very top. Like, you mean like that weird wispiness? The purple stuff. Yeah. What do you think that is? I don't know. What do you think it is, Dan? 
cotton candy. <laughs> I don't want to ever go to a state fair in Michigan if that's what cotton candy looks like over there. Cotton candy's mm. got to be pinker, man. I saw some guy on TV making cotton candy for his kid. Yeah. And he just had like this paper rod and was spinning it in this barrel. Yeah. Like that's not how they make cotton candy. Yeah. No, I thought they rolled it out like uh, like dough. Nah, man. It's uh, they have like a little stick, and then there's this barrel that goes around and around and around, and then they they just kind of swirl it around, and they got it. How do you know? Cause I'm the greatest cotton candy maker in Vancouver, British Columbia. <laughs> we were gonna Take be artists to the face. Cotton Candy Corporation. <laughs> oh, her hands are so cold. Whose hands? I, I will clean Ruka's vomit, but first I've got to figure out how to get some more mana geodes out on Dan. What are you talking about cold hands? Kate hey, tell Kate, tell Kate I said the church strat was a beautiful thing. All right. Dan says the church strat was a beautiful thing, Kate. Can he live today instead of live in the past? She said, <laughs> she said, can he live today instead of living in the past? <laughs> Did she really say that? She, she said that, man. That sounds like something Kanye West would say. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm with you on that one. I don't know. This might be like pretty bad. I guess I should probably do like that first. And then... David Bowie. Dude, this is the longest video we've done in a million years. This is crazy. If you get that dream card, will you play it? Loot hoarder? No. <laughs> the time card. Yeah, absolutely. I'll be, oh good, I summon a Jade Idol. Yeah, that seems smart. Summon a 1-1 one, one Jade Idol. Have you been going against a lot of Jade Idol cards in the, the ladder? Like zero, actually. Pirate Warrior is everywhere. That is just like non-stop. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, this is a tough one. Let's go this. I don't think it's taunt ball no. game. Well, 7-7. Seven, seven. Okay. Yeah, it's game, fam. Yeah, I got nine on board. So we just gotta hope that I draw the uh, the 15 second card. Ooh, there's a chance, Dan. Once upon a time. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I'll just be real. Wait, how many loot? How many loot hoarders did you play this hand? Uh, I played zero in this one. But it, oh, in this episode? Yeah. In this episode, I played two. Okay. Well, that's the tavern brawl. Goodbye forever. Yeah, that didn't feel like a tavern brawl. It's too too try hard. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, um coming up in the next episode, uh, we have the popper and uh pretty fired up about it. Just to give people a little lead in, you want to guess what I titled my popper deck? Um late registration. Oh, come on. <laughs> Close though. It's it's a song off of the red album. The Weezer Red Album? No, that's a great album though. Uh, off of my beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy? Yes. Uh, okay, what would Dan name? So, is it Power? Power Popper? You're in, you're in there, it's a line from there. Okay, do you have the Popper to let Popper go? Yeah. <laughs> is that actually it? He got it, Popper to let Popper go. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. We'll see you on uh, two days from now. Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday is when we post the episodes. So whenever this one goes live. Probably yeah. Saturday's next episode. Later. Later, guys.